Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. I know. I'm uh, my hair is different from last time too. I love my hair, but um, so today we just played around with a little bit of color because I haven't done that in a while, and I really like how it turned out. We had a few mishaps, but that's okay. They at the end of the day, it turned out just fine. So I hope you guys enjoy this look, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So I feel like going into my 35B because let's play with some colors. So for a, I want to do something more pink. So for my transition shade, I'm going to go in with this one right here. And this is a 6 plus eyeshadow brush. Can you see what I'm doing? So we're going to add a little bit of depth to that and using the shame, shame brush, we're going to go in with this color right here. We're going to try and do the hot pink that's in the palette. This one right here. I dig it. I dig it. shade and then this one in the inner corner All right, there it is tap off a little bit I want a good amount I'm not wearing foundation right now so if I have any fallout that's okay so I'm just gonna go right in the inner half and pack this on I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it. I really hope that you can. And when I go to edit this, I really hope I'm not like, I butchered all of the footage. So, if you like this, let me know in the comments below. I really like how this is turning out. Okay. So I uh, primed already, I used my Illuminating Primer by Estee Lauder, and now I'm going to use my Perfectionist Foundation from Estee Lauder as well. I must have lost, lost a lot of color recently because this looks a little bit dark. Maybe it's just the shadow. It's fine. It's fine. In real life, it's fine. I promise. Okay, so foundation is on, um, so now I'm going to go ahead and shape tape my face. Uh, this is shade light, and my foundation is Desert Beige 2-in-1. I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Tarte Smooth Operator. Love this stuff. Don't have it in full size, but my sister keeps getting it in her Ipsy bag and giving me the sample sizes, and I'm super loving it. So. So I hydrate my face a lot like with my primer my foundation and then i follow up with powder to i feel like it's a good sandwich <laughs> that makes sense my bronzer i use the bronze goddess um, by estee lauder in the shade light mine is shattered so i won't show you the colors i'm going to go ahead and use this big fat 
brush that I love with everything inside me. This is my favorite bronzer brush in the whole widest world. It is from Sigma, it's the F20. I didn't put enough setting powder right here. Man, I don't like how that looks on camera at all. Promise it looks good in person. All right, so the brush. <laughs> so the blush I'm gonna use today is Blushing Bride by Tarte. We're gonna keep things pretty pink today. And I'm gonna use my blush brush here, which needs to be cleaned, obviously. Um, all of my brushes need to be cleaned. I'm just lazy, but it is time. And now for highlight, I'm using Max Soft and Gentle. Okay, so now we are going to finish up under the eyes because everything else face is done. I'll probably do my brows off camera, but they need done, so probably not going to do too much with them. Okay, I'm going to start with that brighter neon pink and take a flat definer brush. Just stamp it underneath. That's pretty good. I'm going to add some on my pencil brush just so I can make it a little bit more blown out because why not? Yes. That's what I wanted. I don't know why I don't play in this palette more. It's so much fun and it's such good quality too. Alright, and now I'm going to wipe this off. Man, that sneeze was that sneeze got to me. And I'm gonna go into that more neutral type pink with the same brush and go right over top of it. All right, now, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner. And then from there, if I wanna add more depth in the outer corner, then I will. But we're gonna use that Tarte. It's called Burgundy. I was like, I think it's Burgundy. It's Burgundy. And I'm gonna attempt a wing today. I feel like this eyeliner is just not, not working in my favor. What the? Mm. Look at that. Look at that. That's a hot mess. That is a hot mess eyeliner. I've been really excited to play with this eyeliner and I'm really bummed. I'm like really disappointed in it because this is not, this is brand new. I haven't used this. I've used the other side. Oh my God. What the heck? It just broke. The pencil broke off. And it like doesn't, the whole thing just broke off. And I can't even twist anymore out. My life. 
Why would this happen to me? Why? Why? I'm pissed. I'm pissed. This is garbage. I got the trio thinking like, oh, three eyeliner is cool. Let me see if I can go over it with black and it's not too harsh. That was like, it was like it was dried out or something. I don't know because this one's doing fine. It came with the black one, the brown one, and the burgundy one, which I just used the burgundy one. And this one's doing fine. I don't know if this has different, this has the same amount of liquid in it. <laughs> I'm like embarrassed. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see if I can make it even now. Of course, I can't make it even. I just have a weird eye shape, too. It doesn't look like dramatically terrible, though. So that's good, at least. Man, that really upset me about the other one, because I was really excited about it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with my black pencil eyeliner. Ooh, Luke Ryan. And line my waterline. I got the hiccups. Sorry, guys. And then I think I am going to add some depth this look because of how raggedy my eyeliner looks. So I'm going to take the black from my Tartlet palette on my um, 6 Plus blending eyeshadow brush. Just a little bit. And just kind of... What if I did like makeup tutorials like Bob Ross does his painting videos? Messing up your eyeliner is just a happy accident. Let's turn them into trees. I don't think anybody has a voice as soothing as Bob Ross. Okay, so that's, I think that's as good as that's gonna get. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. So this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. Look at that difference. What? Okay, so I found some lip products that I want to use. We have Powerful by Estee Lauder. Very powerful. And then to tone it down a little bit, I have Reckless Bloom Lip Gloss by Estee Lauder. So that's exciting. Let's do that. Okay, so that didn't really tone it down very much, but I like it. So, that is it. Let's fix our hair a little bit here. Oh, I have two bobby pins and I'm like, oh, it's stuck. All right, so that is it for this look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. I really like how it turned out. So, it's starting to get dark out because it's winter time. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. Uh, if there's anything that you'd like to see, um, let me know. If you'd like it, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.